Hi, welcome to the SciGem video series. My name is Jeff Moore, and today we're going to be touring one of our customers' facilities. Uh, SciGem helped engineer this facility in 2001, and uh, it's been running for the last six years. So today we're going to go over some of the features of the data center, and we're going to talk about some of the things SciGem incorporated, and different ideas we had when we built out this facility. So first of all, as you see, I'm walking into the data center door, and the carpet itself is called anti-static dissipative carpeting, which means I can rub my feet like this all day long, and if I touch a piece of equipment, I'm not going to shock myself. Uh, I don't know how many of you have worked in different environments, uh, but it's very easy to, uh, if you're not careful, shock a piece of equipment and damage it. So by putting this type of flooring into this facility, uh, we minimize the chance of disrupting equipment. One of the interesting features about this room is the door here itself. Uh, oftentimes when you're bringing in new equipment into a data center, you definitely don't want to have to hold the door open as you're bringing in equipment. So we installed a sliding glass door here with a push button that's actually about the size of your hip. So if you're holding a heavy piece of equipment, you bump the door with your hip to hold the door open. Now if you have a cart or other heavy equipment, you can easily walk into the facility. Also there's a motion detector so as you walk, you won't get stuck. Now the second thing you may notice that's a little bit different about this facility than other facilities is if you've ever walked into a data center, you notice that oftentimes you actually walk up into a data center. That's because of the uh, raised flooring. Now what we did here in this facility was a little bit different. We actually jackhammered out the floor beneath us to make a, a nice smooth level surface. Oftentimes, you know, if you're pushing heavy equipment, it's difficult to push it up a ramp, so we made it nice and level uh, to make it easy to bring equipment in and out of this data center. As you can see here, standardized racks throughout the facility. Uh, Liebert air conditioning units on either side. Now we're going to walk towards the back, and I'm going to show you uh, underneath the raised floor. So here's the back of the cabinet. We've got our tile puller here. And you can see what I was talking about earlier, how we jackhammered out the bottom of the floor, poured concrete, and then all of the electric and network cabling and fiber channel for our sand storage array runs underneath the flooring here. As with any data center, a major issue you can contend with is fire suppression. So for this facility, we put an FM200 gas for fire suppression. But we didn't put just one tank in, we actually put in two because in the event of some accident, one tank going off, we wanted to make sure that there would always be solid fire suppression available to the room. An important part of any data center is the power. As you can see here, we're running in a production facility. I've got servers, I've got a backup tank that's running here. So what we've done in this facility, if we come back this way, is we put in both an A and a B power source feed. All of the equipment in this room is connected to both the A and the B power source. So to demonstrate, I'm actually going to take the A power source offline. Here's the main, this is on, this is off. I've just taken the A feed offline. And if we walk back around this way, we can see that all the equipment is still running. Now you'll notice that the, uh, the servers have changed color. They, they are an alarm because one of their power supplies is not receiving power now that I've taken one of the power sources offline. Uh, but you can see that they're still up and running. Next, we're going to go and move to the second phase of power protection, battery and UPS generator. Now, the second part of any power protection strategy for a data center is the battery backups here and a transfer switch that leads out to a natural gas generator. So in the event of any sort of power outage, the batteries here will kick on to provide power just long enough for the transfer switch to kick into the natural gas generator. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate that today, but in the event of an outage, power is no longer available to the data center, the batteries turn on, the transfer switch kicks in, and the natural gas generator provides power indefinitely for the facility. The third and final part of the power protection strategy is the natural gas generator here. Now, natural gas was chosen instead of diesel because in the event of an outage, a diesel truck would not be required for delivery. 
So as long as natural gas could be supplied to the building, power could be supplied to the data center. That concludes our tour of the data center. If you'd like to know more about data center architecture or build out, please visit our website, www.cygem.com, or you can give us a call, 330-668-1660. Thank you.